Hello, welcome to another edition of Reading of Hope with Olivia. Today is the start of a comeback. We took a break as when we finished the series Living Single and Thriving, addressing specifically the issue of sexual purity for Christian singles. And uh, we have finished that series and I did... Um, had some talk on different topics and if you go through the channel you will see some topics that I have addressed and today is um if I continue I want to just say happy father's day to my my dad um I'm so happy uh he just came back <sighs> he just came back home from Nigeria I'm, I'm grateful to God for bringing him home safely since, you know, due to COVID, he's been in Nigeria, so he just came back. So I'm grateful for that. I am, thank you, Dad. Um, I love you. I want to thank my father in the Lord, my father in destiny, Reverend um, Shalaba Balola. Thank you for uh, being a strong able leader i am grateful for a linkage divine linkage i also want to thank my grandfather in destiny reverend olushala ariogu thank you baba god bless you we appreciate you sir and uh, before we continue i want to thank the father of all fathers elohim el shaddai Jesus said that we should call him Abba Father. So, Heavenly Father, thank you for being the epitome of fatherhood. So, you loved us Why we didn't even know that we, you know, we existed. Why we didn't know who you were. Why we, why we were yet your enemy. You loved us and gave up Jesus. Thank you for giving jesus scripture say you're everlasting father prince of peace in the book of isaiah chapter 9 thank you for being our everlasting father holy spirit thank you for always teaching us the truth and it's you know explaining things and and exposing our hearts to truth thank you the triune god so thank you to um happy father's day to thank you to all the fathers who has been there for their children and those who have not you can do better god is not interested in in condemnation i i think i say that scripture all the time one of my favorite scriptures of all time is john 3 17 the father he did not bring the son to condemn us rather through him that we might be saved so this day this father's day in the united states i wish all the fathers all the fathers to them to the memory of my late my my late uncle he's he was my father he raised me so and everyone who has been there somewhere mentoring i pray that the lord will strengthen you to keep to raise the next generation to know god that is the most important thing that we connect our children the next the next generation in people my sons my nephews that god will um you know expose himself to them and they'll be open to know i also want to say happy birthday to one of my younger brothers chima today is his birthday he's one of the best father i've known and all of my brothers uh hamilton hector michael ike James, Chima, uh, Promise is a future father. He's not a father yet. Um, my brother Frank, um, all the brothers of KPC, the fathers of KPC, my home judge. And thank you. God bless you. God bless you. So today, just tribute to all the 
fathers and all you do sometimes we don't really you know appreciate you enough all the fathers we, we appreciate you guys anyway today I just want to you know bring us back to to where we were we had dealt with the issue of sexual purity single Christians male female living a life of 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 pure sexual purity that was what um the first series when i started the this engagement you know reaching the singles through this platform is it was is it okay for a christian single to involve himself or herself in sexual activity whilst why single or while you're dating as far as you're not married and we did develop establish the fact that no so that series is gone and we did take a break so we're coming back um we're gonna be coming back and we're gonna be coming to you once a month it's not gonna be every sunday as with the series because we close the series so it's gonna be once a month um i come your way by the mercy of god and whatever the lord will lay in my heart i will share with you but my promise is candid authenticity honesty and you know to 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 bring christ in a very relatable yet uncompromising manner that christ is the center of everything he is the center of my life he's the center of everything i'm not sure where you are with him i'm not sure who he is to you what you know but christ jesus christ is the center of my life my name is olivia onyekachi jesus is the lord of my life he's the savior of my life the bible says in john 3 16 everyone practically even those who do not are not christians know that scripture for god so loved the world that he gave up his only son that whosoever believe should should not perish but have everlasting father you know and i'm not talking about religion so many people have done things that maybe cause you to misinterpret the fact that god is god the truth is god is god and jesus is the only way to god he is the truth the way and the light and he's the life he's the light of the world he's the life um a good example i always use i i use it recently when i was sharing people you know with my neighbors when I mean neighbors every human being is my neighbor so it's gonna be more of where are you with you know God or if you even do believe God so this this example I swim um, I gave example imagine if I I live in Chicago and like Michigan we have some part of it is there imagine if I you know go there there's no lifeguard or anything you know and somebody is drowning I see someone drowning and they're drowning and I can swim I just just stand there shrug my shoulder and watch them drown if you are coming if you are coming you're watching from afar maybe you can't swim and you ask Olivia, can you swim? And I say, yes. I say, why can't you jump in? Why, why don't you, you know, help? And, and, and I, I just nonchalantly, just like, you know, maybe make excuse or not even make any excuse. So, and the person is drowning when I can help to rescue them. And I sit there and I don't do anything. You see? If that is what many times people want us to be quiet. They said your truth is your truth. In our generation, truth is relative. Whatever makes you feel good, just keep your truth. I don't need it. But that's the lie of the devil. Every human being deep inside of us the bible says that he has created eternity in our hearts deep inside of every human being there is a longing and that longing is for god whether you have put your finger on it or not is irrelevant 
We are created to serve God. If you don't serve God, you will serve something. You will serve yourself or you serve some 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 people are philanthropists, some people are good in they devote devote their time to specializing in something. Whatever there is always something we are serving. You're serving a cause. You know, the point I'm making is if I know how to swim and somebody's drowning and I'm just standing there watching them drown. Any other person that comes and see that we probably call me heartless and wicked. And that is why I come your way today. The whole world, the whole world is a, is a sinking ship because of sin. The introduction of sin separated man from God. And I'm not talking about religion. I'm talking about Yahweh, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Job, the God that created the whole universe and crowned it with mankind. He's a holy God. He's a loving God. But his love cannot go without his holiness. And that is the reason why he gave up his son. John 3, 16. He gave up his only begotten son to restore us to a life of holiness to his standard not my standard not your standard and this is not an opinion and i didn't come here today to counter your opinion no i came here with truth i preach christ crucified even it's hard for a man to die for himself let alone die for another but jesus it's a historical fact died on the cross for you and for me. So, if I don't share the truth with you, if I do not go to rescue my neighbor who is drowning, and you hear of it, say, this woman, this lady, you are heartless. How can you be such a heartless person? So, Jesus died on the cross for us. As I said, the whole world is a sinking ship and Jesus is a lifeboat. Jesus is a life. I use this analogy all the time because it makes sense. Jesus is a lifeboat. It sink, a ship is sinking. If you don't get into the lifeboat, regardless of who you are, you're going to sink with the ship. Sin is a sinker. Sin, S-I-N. It's a sinker and it's a separator from God. So the only way man can find his way back to God, a holy God, yes, it's a loving God. Many people want us to emphasize on the love of God. Yes, but that love is flowing from, from, from a pure, a pure and holy place, like uncompromisingly pure and holy, unadulterated. The Bible says, without holiness, no man can see God as much as he loves us. So, it's not a long exposition. It's not a long talk. It's just to tell you that Jesus loves you. And he has already paid the price for your sins. All you need to do is believe with your heart, confess it with your mouth, and begin to trust him on a daily basis by his spirit to lead you into the reason why you are here on earth and that is to serve him by serving humanity i know you might say oh i already serve humanity but life is beyond here whatever you do be be you know here on earth physically someday i will not have this form there is my spirit man that is in, inhabiting this body we this body will drop one day I won't be able to speak with my mouth again. My eyes will close in death. And I will go before God to give account of my life. That is the inner man that you don't see. This person you're seeing is the one thought of me. There is my spirit, that's my soul, and that's my body. And everybody's like that. This body that we pay so much attention to, it's not going anywhere. It's going back to 
dust. It's going to be eaten by moths. It's going back. But this person inside of me, my spirit, the one that was sent into this body, and I got born through my mother, is the one that is going to go back to God. And the difference that God will welcome me is if I have accepted his son, Jesus Christ, because that is the way he made for us. It's through Jesus that we get to have relationship with the Father because sin separated us permanently. But that permanent separation was bridged, was reversed by Jesus laying down his own life and taking every wrath of God, paying the full price of the sins of every man. There is no body that Jesus did not pay for their sins, but each of us has to individually accept what Jesus did on the cross. Like I say, if someone is drowning and you can swim, you bring them out, you put them in the lifeboat, it's up to them to stay in that lifeboat. If they choose not to, they will drown. You know, I was listening to a lady once, she's, she's a lifeguard, and she said, when you're going to get someone that drowning, you go through their back because they're going to resist you. There might be something inside of you resisting. Ah, this lady, what is she talking about? You want to tell me there's only one way. See, the devil is a fallen angel, but that's not what I came to teach you. He will, he will bring every reasoning and argument for you not to listen. But you know that the devil is your worst enemy. And by that, I mean to keep you away from the goodness of God, to keep you away that God has forgiven you because he sinned, God did not forgive him. But we sinned, God chose to forgive us, did a, a redemptive package for us by through his son. So that's why the devil will do anything to make you not to believe that Jesus is the only way, that Jesus is the truth and the light. He's the life of the world. He's life. So... As I round up, like I said, it's not a long, you know, engagement today. I just want you to think about it. I want to challenge you sincerely. If, it's, if Christ is truth, regardless of what your experience has been, then give him a chance. He's able to prove himself. You are loved lavishly. That's why he laid down his life on the cross naked. He died. He was crucified. It's a historical fact. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, laid down his life on the cross for you and for me. So Romans, I believe it's Romans 9. Verse, is it Romans 10, 9? And, I don't know. Either it's Romans 9, 9 and 10 or Romans 10, 9 and verse 10. It says, if I confess with my mouth and believe with my heart that Jesus is Lord, so if you have not given your life to Jesus, I want you to be simple. Lord Jesus, I believe in you, that you are son of God. You are the son of God. You came on earth through a virgin birth. You lived a sinless life and you died on the cross for my sins. And your blood is powerful and strong and sinless to redeem me from my sins, from eternal death. I receive you by faith. And I ask that your Holy Spirit come and reside inside of me and open my eyes to see as I live a new life in you. Thank you. If you pray that prayer, welcome to the family of God. Now you need to find yourself, ask the Lord, what is the next thing is to find a local body of Christ that you plug yourself in, begin to develop. You can start reading your scripture, the Gospel of John. Um, Colossians is, is one of... Um, my favorite scriptures because they tell a lot of it talks about um the supremacy of christ and also praying for you to have understanding of who christ is and stuff like that so and also let us know that you did give your life to christ to leave a note on leave leave a note on the comment on the comment section and also my ministry uh, website is lavishlove.org. It's always be pinned there. If you need a prayer request, 
Um, and if you find yourself in Chicago, my local church is Kingdom Pathway Church. I also leave a note there. It's Kingdom Pathway Church. I leave it on the screen. And we are currently located on 2748 West Tui Avenue um, on the corner of uh, Tui and California in Rogers Park, Chicago. We are welcome. Our services are 10 a.m. every Sunday. Sat um, on Thursdays, we are doing Bible study, Water Life. Um, 6.30 every time all is Central Standard Time. Thank you for watching and God bless you. Happy Father's Day again to all the fathers. May God strengthen you in Jesus' name. Amen.